Hey friends, Pope Francis recently beatified a young man, Carlo Acutis, whom people lovingly call the Saint in Jeans. Through ordinary living, he achieved sainthood. Witnesses of Christ like him give us a message that anyone can become saint. In this series, Saints from India, Inspiration to Witness Christ is all about the 11 saints on the mission calendar hanging in our homes. In this fourth episode, we shall know about the youngest among these 11, Saint Alfonsa, the icon of suffering. Saint Alfonsa was born on August 19, 1910 in Kerala. She was named Anna and affectionately called Anakati. Her father was a doctor. Saint Alfonsa had to experience suffering at the very early age as her mother died soon after her birth. She was looked after by her aunt. Although her aunt loved her very much, she wanted to marry her off. She was just 13 years old. As she was beautiful and had already arranged for her marriage, but Anna wanted to be a nun. In order to escape from the already arranged marriage, she tried to get a small burn on her feet so that it would prevent her from walking to the church for the marriage. But she slipped and fell and got herself burnt all over. The scars remained for the rest of her life and the wounds took three months to heal. After four years, she entered the convent of Clarice Sisters in 1927 at the age of 17. Saint Alfonsa didn't perform any miracles during her lifetime and didn't even start any congregation. Neither was she martyred for her faith. Then how did this ordinary nun become saint? Let's hear this from our catechism children. Saint Alfonsa's attitude towards suffering was indeed noble. She learned to accept suffering as a part and parcel of her life. She is known as an icon of suffering and she inspires me to accept any suffering from the hands of God. Saint Alfonsa's favorite saint was Saint Teresa of Child Jesus. The little flower as she had to lost her mother at a very young age like her. It is said that Saint Alfonsa received the vision of the little flower which sowed the seed of her religious vocation. She is also known as the little flower of India. Saint Alfonso teaches me that life becomes precious not when you keep it yourself to relish what the world offers, but when you give it in the hands of God, to be prepared to do God's will at every moment, even when there are sufferings in life. She was always ready to help others, even when she was very sick. Even as a child, Saint Alfonso displayed a kind attitude towards others. One evening, the elders were away. Some beggars knocked at the door and she welcomed them and offered supper, which was prepared for the entire family. After joining the convent, Saint Alfonso took the name Alfonso in honor of Alfonso Ligori, the founder of Redemptorist, as she was admitted into the religious order on his feast day, 2nd August 1928. Saint Alfonsa used to teach in the school. The children loved her very much. When she fell ill, the children visited her and asked her to pray for them, that they may study well. Even after her death, they went to the cemetery and, and requested her to pray for them. She loved people very much and people loved her too. Since people were always visiting her and feeling pity for her sufferings, she prayed to the Lord that He may send her the sufferings only at night so that she can talk to the people when they visit her during the day. Once, my diocese bishop was suffering from malaria. When Sister Afonsa heard the news, she knelt down immediately and prayed to the Lord to cure the bishop and bring his illness upon her. The Lord did answer her prayer and after three days, the bishop was completely cured while Sister Afonsa was suffering from malaria. 
she was ready to suffer for others. Saint Alphonsa was beatified by Saint Pope John Paul II in 1986 when he visited India. It was Pope Benedict XVI who canonized her in 2008. Her feast day is celebrated on 28 July. Saint Alphonsa was the second saint from India after Gonzalo Garcia and the first Indian woman to be canonized as a saint. In 2009, Reserve Bank of India issued a 5 rupee commemorative coin marking the birth centenary of St. Alphonsa. On July 28, 1946, St. Alphonsa quietly left this world. She was just 36 years old. St. Alphonsa spent most of her religious life on a sick bed. Her death wasn't noticed in public as there were very few people who had attended her funeral. Then how did this ordinary nun become so famous? It was on the account of the little children who loved her very much. They always visited her when she was sick and now they started visiting her tomb and asking for favors. When their favors were granted, they told it to their parents. And soon within no time people started pouring from all the corners of the country to implore the intercession of this humble nun. Saint Alphonsa endured suffering with a smile on her face. When we have to face some suffering, do we complain or face the suffering with a smile? That's it for now. Stay tuned on our YouTube channel Saint Alex Church Kalangud on our next episode on the saint who came all the way from Jerusalem, Saint Bartholomew, the Apostle of Jesus.